Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. My name is Anton Monson and today we are unboxing the Formlabs 2 and Wash and Cure. Literally one week after I unboxed this machine, they released the Form 3. Hmm. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead with this movie anyways and hopefully we'll get a Form 3 to check out later. So let's continue with the movie. So we are here at the PancakeBot Makerspace and Innovation Center and they've just bought this uh, Formlabs 2 so I thought why don't I just make an unboxing of it. This is not my personal machine, hopefully I'll be able to use it enough so I can make a review on it. But the plan here is to check out what's inside the boxes. Uh, this is a pretty fun machine and I had some experience with Formlabs before. I know that they have some really nice packaging, some really nice products. Yeah, let's just dig into it. Now, we have a few parts here. We have the Form 2 and the finishing kit. Those two come together. Uh, you also get a resin with that kit. Then we have some extra stuff. We have some resin tank long time or yeah, long, long time, long term use. We got some more resins. We got an extra build plate. We also have the cure, which is the UV curing machine to finish off your prints, make them extra strong and, and uh, extra nice. We also have over there the e wash, which helps you wash the prints, especially if you do a production. That's really nice tools to have. Makes it a lot more less sticky. So why don't we get started with the uh, accessories? All right, so let's move the form to to the side a little bit and get these resins and all that to the side as well. Should make it a little bit easier to see. And I think I have to stand up for this. So why don't we start with the finishing kit? This is the kit that helps you finish all all your prints. And as you can see, it should open fairly simple. So it opens up like this, very nice. So what we can do is actually we lift it up. Ta -da! This is now empty. So this is the finishing kit and the setup. So in this instruction, you can see all the steps on how to get started. But basically this is a grid lid. The two sockets, you can use this for a number of things. But in these containers, we actually get a few parts already loaded. So we have a little squeezer or whatever it's called. We get a big pack of gloves. You really need to use gloves when using this machine. You should never touch the uncured resin. We get a tweezer, is it called that? No, it's a flush cutter. That's what they're called. So we get a flush cutter. We, we do get a tweezer that's over here. We also get some uh, peck pads to wipe clean the mirrors in the machine. So this is for maintenance of your machine. We also get some uh, fiber uh, fabrics to, to continue cleaning the machine. Some silica gel, do not eat. We get uh, this smart little lifting device that helps you lift and, and lower down your prints into the, the washing and the curer. But again, we're not gonna use this so much since we have the wash and cure. So, but this is what you get with the formulas, either if you don't buy these or not. So that's a great way of rinsing the model in isopropanol. We also get this handy tool to scrape things off the build plate. Very nice. We also get another scraper. We also get another set of gloves. Awesome. Last but not least, this is a super exciting device. This is to help you hold the prints and hold the build plate. So you can actually put the build plate in here. You can have it in different positions and it will help to, uh, to drip off any material. So this is to mount the build plate so you don't have to touch it and get get uh, sticky another silica gel and of course the two containers that that you then put the stuff in so you have two containers one is for the like the rough uh, cleaning of the model so you should replace that more often then you can have a fine one that is like the second step that rinses off the the last small uh, contaminations and details like that so that is the finishing kit setup so let's unbox the cure all right, so next up, let's unbox the Formlabs Cure. This is the machine to uh, finalize the curing of your models. Remember, in this machine, it will only cure the model uh, a certain amount because you want to speed up the process. So by finishing off and, and curing after your print, you'll get stronger models, better results, and overall better experience. So this is a really good thing to have, but I mean, it's UV curing, so you could always build your own, maybe. Let's see how it looks. So in the box here at the top, we get a power cord, very nice, appreciate that. We also get some stickers, no, not stickers, some documentation, form of secure, safety, very good guide. This is really nice. Formlabs are really good at the packaging and the support. So their, their support material on their website is very, very nice, very illustrative with pictures and all that. And that the same design language is in these, these brochures. And I really appreciate that. We get a power brick, 
pretty big one actually. So let's lift up the lid, some foam and something inside. Cool, let's, uh, let's check it out. Um, okay, you don't want to pull this up in the lid because the lid actually opens. So on the sides, so there we go. Wow, this looks really nice. So this is the Forlap Secure. We have on the back side, we have a power cable, USB cable. We also get a fan. Very nice. And then on the front, we have a knob you can twist and click. And also a display. But what's inside here is pretty cool. So you open this up. That is, look at that. That is really cool. Wow, I'm really impressed of that. So you can see there's a mirror here. So uh, the mirror finish will reflect the UV, I presume. And you have this spinning plate. Yeah, it spins around. And uh, it will rotate your model and cure it by uh, applying UV light all around. Very nice design. I love that. I love this lid. It opens and folds down all the way. That's really impressive. Cool, so that's the cure. Let's go ahead with the wash. All right, so time for the Form Labs wash or the Form Wash. This is a similar, no, it's not similar, but it, it's also for post like printing. So we actually get a few things up here. We get some brochures, also very nice looking brochures. We get the power cable. Let's actually do this. Take the whole lid up, keep the suspense up by hiding the box. Let's just check out the top here because we get a few things in this one. So there you can see, we also get the power bridge. Very nice. We get this device. I don't know what this is. This, this is some sort of floating, maybe floating device to, yeah. We'll see, that's a new one for me and I'm not sure what that is. We get another tweezer, excellent. Tweezers are really good with the form labs. You can get all that support and that extra details off. Another uh, scraper painter's brush, another uh, side cutter. Let's actually keep the stuff in this one. And another of these scraper tools that you can scrape off from your uh, build plates, scrape off the, the uh, models. Ta-da! Wow, look at this. So this is the Form Labs wash or the Form Wash. Ah, there's something inside of it. So let's open up the lid. Let's open up the lid <laughs> and we have, this looks weird. This is a siphon pump. All right, so that's probably to, um, of course it's to pour out the used material out of this machine and into your container when you need to clean or rin uh, rinse it. Okay, so we have the lid. Obviously we can't open the front because this is a container for isopropanol. Uh, on the back we have a USB and a, uh, and a power port, just like the Cure. On the front we also have a dial and a clicky knob and also the display of course. With that said, I think that we can't really show much more. There's a, there's a, a cart in here that rises up. So that cart includes your, your finished models. So to wash them here, it will rinse up and down. And there's some sort of pumping device and you need to have the floater. Uh, the white stuff should be around here. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, that's what you get in that one. Okay, last but not least, the Form 2 Axial 3D printer. By the way, this is not how you're supposed to store the cure and the wash when you're using them. Don't do that, it's just for show. All right, so let's open this box. Ooh, we have, I need to show this here. So you can see the nice packaging up here, the nice material and all that stuff. Looks very nice. Let's see if we can get it out. Okay, 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 okay. Let's have a look at this one first. All right, so in here as well, we get some good documentation, safety, information, start guide. Definitely check that out if you're new to Formlabs or if you're new to SLA in, in general. SLA is a little bit different from FDM if you didn't know why. There's a link down below if you want to know more about the benefits of different technologies, but more about that later. Let's check it out. So we get a build platform. Build platform, very nice. So this is the surface that your models are built on. So it's actually like dragged up, so it prints in the bottom of the resin tank that we'll have a look at. But this is the build plate, looks very nice. We have a accessory box with a few things. USB cable, a leveling device. So use this to level your machine. You can rotate the wheels, make sure that everything's in level, which is important with a printer that has a liquid in it. So you want to have it on a stable surface. There's also a power cable. Let's keep that in for now. So this is one of the resin tanks. 
This is the normal resin tank. It comes vacuum sealed. Because it is very important that you do not touch this glass surface. So that's why they have a plastic there, because you grab it and you get fingerprints here. This is an optical surface or a optical window. It needs to be super clean. You don't want to have any dust at all coming up onto this surface. That will uh, deteriorate your print quality. And because if there's some dust in the way of the laser hitting the resin, you will have resin that isn't cured at that spot. So make sure you keep this clean. And make sure you have one extra because uh, yeah, you always want to have one extra because when yours is done, you don't want to wait two, three or four days to get your new one. So always keep one in spare. All right, so Formlabs does something really fun here. They have two handles in here. So instead of pulling the machine out from the top, you actually pull the machine out using these handles, you see here. If you don't see, give me one second. So you use these kind of hand handles to pull it out of the machine. Since this top opens up, you don't want to pull on that and damage that. So you just grab these, take it out of the box, and then you have your machine ready to, uh, to be displayed. And when taking this off, it's important to lift from below. The, the aluminum base here is where it's most stable. So let's pull that out. All right, so here we have it, the Formlabs Form 2. So you can open up this uh, tray, which I mean you should never do while printing because UV light will come in. Uh, this is, I've, I've opened this once before or the guys here have done. So this is the locking mechanism for the build plate. Very nice. You have this protective cover to protect the mirrors. So really we don't want to get this off until we're ready to, uh, to start printing. So as you can see here on the machine, we have on the front, we have the, uh, we have the touch screen and the uh, on off bottom. Let's see here on the sides. Uh, we have connecting ports. <laughs> Let's see if we can see. So we have ethernet, we have USB and we have the power. We also have a locking mechanism. So you can have also use this, I think it's called Kensington lock to make sure that your machine is not very easy to pick up and walk away with. Yeah, we also load the resin into this container here on the back, so you can load it directly up here. And yeah, with that said, I think we've unboxed this machine. Yes, yeah, so that is all the unboxing done. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm very curious to start printing with this machine. This video will not include the first print because there's a lot to go through and I want to keep the video short. So make sure to subscribe. There will be some sort of video explaining how to get started. The thing is that this machine will probably be in production before I have time to record that movie. So it's not going to be like the first print of the machine uh, with leveling and all that, but we'll go through everything that you need to do. If, you, if you're buying this machine yourself and you want to do like the first calibration or the first startup really, uh, you can check out the Formlabs guides and also there's a fellow YouTubers that have already done videos on that. But make sure you subscribe and just check out more cool products that we'll print in this one. Uh, we will have uh, the 3D print tech, you'll have the 3D print tech design first print on this machine. Maybe it's not the first off the machine, you know what I mean. And we'll go through how to process everything from the wash and the cure and uh, yeah, all the other stuff. And speaking of other stuff, we actually never unboxed the, the other. We have the LT resin tank. So this has a uh, different, different color. It's a yellow color. This is supposed to be uh, better for some of the more advanced materials and it should hold longer. So you don't ruin, it, ruin the surface as easy with the other one. We also got another of these uh, um, build plates. Good to have one in spare, especially if you're processing one, you want to start printing on the other one. Uh, we got some resin. Let's check out how they look actually. So these should also be shaken. Um, when you're storing these ones. Yeah, so that's how they look. You can kind of see the shape here that it's dented in, so it fits in there. You need to remove these yellow orange things to make sure that, and you also want to open that up to vent it so liquid can actually pour out of it. And then the machine will load uh, the amount needed itself from below. So this one here is the castable wax, which means that we should be able to, uh, to do some pretty interesting st stuff. We also have a, uh, clear resin, which I think is what came with the machine, and another clear that we bought extra, I think. Or they did, I didn't buy it. All right, so now we unbox everything. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below for more videos about the Formlabs, other printers, other SLA printers, and a bunch of fun stuff about 3D printing, technology, and design. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.